Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 12, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. It wants us to draw a pair, one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So I'm gonna do one that's two, one that's longer than two. There we go. So now this side and this side are parallel. That is called a trapezoid. Okay. On this one, it says to draw a quadrilateral that does not belong and explain why. Well, guess what? A trapezoid doesn't belong there. So this time, I'm going to draw it upside down just because I can. Okay. So, anybody know why it doesn't belong? It doesn't belong because it only has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Trapezoids only have one pair of parallel lines. The others have two. Okay, it's not so bad. All right, Layla drew a quadrilateral with four right angles and two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. So four right angles, two pairs of opposite sides. Name the quadrilateral. Well, what shape is that? It's a rectangle. Or it could be a square. We could put a square or a rectangle. There we go. You guys take care of number five. You are also going to go ahead and take care of the lesson check on the back. And we're going to go down and do this power review. It says a quadrilateral that has four right angles and four sides of equal length. What is the name of the quadrilateral? Well, that's just a square, guys. Okay. Mark drew two lines that form a right angle. What word describes the lines that Mark drew? Well, those are perpendicular. Okay, we know from previous lessons that the lines that form that make an L, those are called perpendicular. Okay, all right, Dennis drew the rectangle on grid paper. What is the perimeter? So it's one, two, three, four across. So four plus four is eight. And then one, two, three down, and three plus three is six. We have six plus eight, well that's 14 units. There we go. Okay, so now we have to find the area. Well now, one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three. Well, five times three is 15. Now, we could put square units. We could put units squared, or you can write out square and put units. Your choice, as long as it says square units in some fashion. Okay? Alright guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.6. Come on back for 12.7. See you soon.